Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to do vector 2. So I request you to kindly subscribe to this channel and you also share the link with your friends. So we are going to handle a vector question, vector 2, whereby we are told that in the triangle PQR below, L and M are points on PQ and QR respectively such that PL is to LQ equals to 1 is to 3. So the ratio of PL is to LQ is 1 is to 3 and QM, QM is to MR is 1 is to 2. PM and RL intersected X as shown in the diagram. Given that PQ equals to vector B and PR, PR equals to vector C, express the following vectors. In terms of B and C. Remember to subscribe and to invite more friends to shifting grids. Let's start operating this question whereby we are first of all calculating QR in terms of B and C. So QR, because the only vectors which have been provided are this one as vector B and this one as vector C, then we're going to say for us to get to QR, we are going because this root is unknown. But we know we can follow Q to P, then P to R, so that we may get QR. Then we can say QR equals to QP, then plus PR. So at least we can see we are moving from Q to P. And because PQ is vector B, then QP is going to be negative B. So we have negative vector B plus vector c so we can rearrange the two vectors such that we are starting with c vector minus vector b so that is the expression of qr in terms of c and b pm number two vector pm pm is this vector so we can choose two roots here we can follow pr then rm or pq and QM. Therefore, I can choose to follow this route. For us to get PM, then I can say we need PQ plus QM. In this case, PQ is vector B, then plus QM. Since QM, according to the ratio given here, QM equals to or qm is to mr equals to one is to two then it means this is one proportion these are two proportion so it means for the whole vector q r then qm is one out of three divisions of qr so we say one out of three qr and qr is already known therefore in the step below here we'll say b plus a third of the vector C minus B because that is the equivalence of QR. Therefore, we'll have M plus a third C minus a third B since a third is opening the bracket completely. After that, now we can group like terms together whereby we shall have B minus a third B. This gives us two out of three vector B positive a third vector c so that is the expression of pm in terms of b and c then we have rl vector r l r l so i will follow this route I'll follow this route whereby i will take r q then q l so r Q plus QL. That root will take us to RL because we're beginning from R to Q, then to L. So the root is remember the whole of this is RQ and we have the equivalence of QR. So we're going to use the reverse of QR to get RQ. So if RQ equals to if RQ equals to C minus B then 
okay what i mean is that uh, if qr equals to c minus b then rq is the reverse now where b becomes positive and c negative therefore rq is going to be positive b and negative c then plus ql ql is a vector here remember pl pl is to lq is 1 is to 3 therefore this one is 3 out of the 4 divisions 3 out of the 4 divisions of qp so 3 quarters of qp of qp so this means we will have b minus c plus 3 quarters of qp now vector qp because pq is b then qp is going to be negative b negative b so this one becomes b this one becomes a this is b minus c this one becomes negative three quarters of vector b so this means the final expression is going to be when we have b minus three quarters b we get a quarter b then minus vector c minus vector c so th those are the expressions now let's get to part b of the equation by taking px as hpm and rx hk rl where h and k are constants find two expressions of px in terms of h k b and c and determine the values of h and k the two constants therefore what we're going to do here is to express two ways of px such that px is going to be the first expression is already given px equals to h the vector pm and we already know vector pm vector pm is two thirds b plus a third vector c so this means the first expression of px is going to be two thirds h vector b plus a third h vector c when we open the brackets using h again the other expression of px the other expression of px is going to be we are going to consider the root that will give us px but accommodating rx so we want px accommodating rx which means we will follow pr rx that is another root of getting px pr plus rx so pr plus rx in which case we're going to have pr as vector c plus rx as k rl and rl has been given here as a quarter of vector b minus vector c so now we can open brackets in this case whereby we shall have vector c plus a quarter k vector b minus k vector c so we can group vector c's on one side whereby we can have a c minus kc then plus a quarter of kb a quarter kb so this means now at this point let me divide the space here so that we say we can factor out vector c and remain with 1 minus k vector c plus a quarter k vector b this one is the second expression of px now that we have two expressions of px this one and this one then we can find the constants h and k in which case we're going to equate the coefficients of each vector in the two different ways of expressing px such that if in this case 
the first expression, the coefficient of c is a third h. Then we equate it with the coefficient of c in the other expression, whereby we will say now 1 minus k equals to a third h, because they are the coefficients of vector c. So here, we can cross multiply with 3, so that we do away with fractions such that we will have 3 minus 3k minus h, and we call this one the first equation. Okay, we can say again, the coefficients of vector b can be equated, and in this expression, the coefficients of vector b are a quarter k. So we have a quarter k. This one should be equated to the coefficients of b in the other expression of px, whereby it is two thirds of h. Two thirds of h. Therefore, this is the second expression. Now we can solve the two expressions simultaneously so that we obtain the values of k and the values of h. So we can first of all multiply from the second expression. Now I want to use a substitution method whereby I will multiply with 4 in all sides so that we remain with k equals to 8 out of 3 h. Now from the second expression having this, we can use substitution method such that in the first expression where we have k, we fix 8 out of 3 h. Therefore, we can rewrite this one as 3 minus 3. And instead of k, we have 8 out of 3 h. So this one is supposed to be equals to, sorry, there was an equal to here, yeah? Equal to. Uh -huh. Equals to h. So now after this, we can multiply this one and this one are cancelling. So that negative 8h goes to the other side. So that we say, so that we say 3 equals to 9h. To remain with h, we have 3 over 9. And when simplified, we get a third. 3 out of 9, which gives us a third after simplifying. And again, to get k, we're going to use 8 out of 3 of the value we are having for h, which is a third. So vector k, not vector, but a constant k, is going to be given by 8 out of 9. Therefore, we have h as a third and k as 8 out of 9. Remember to subscribe to this channel as we conclude. We're going now to express the ratio lx is to xr lx xr remember there is the constant there is the constant which is relating the two the two vectors remember we are giving lx is to xr this ratio now we have rx 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 equals to k which is 8 out of 9 of rl rl because k has already been known so rx equals to k rl so rx equals to 8 out of 9 of rl now that we have rl in this case now we can say that uh, this one is 8 out of the nine divisions so which means we have eight here and one division here so that we may say rx equals to eight divisions out of the total divisions which are nine of r l so the ratio of lx is to xr is going to be one and eight one is to eight so the proportions are 1 is to 8. That is the ratio of Lx is to Xr.